In yesterday's episode we talked about using butyl tape as a sealant for your deck fittings. So in this extra we're going to show you how we apply it and talk very briefly about the advantages and the disadvantages of using it. Okay, let's just have a little reminder about the butyl tape application. We covered this off in our refit series and we covered it off quite extensively actually. I think we dedicated almost an entire episode on the application of it. But for those that missed it, check out the refit video and if you can't be bothered to do that, just a very quick recap. So butyl tape, uh, it's quite often used to uh, put flashing together on roofs, it's non-adhesive and it's very easy to work with. It comes in strips in great big rolls, so all of this is the stuff that I saved from the refit four years ago. It's kept very well, we kept it in little plastic bags so they were airtight and uh, it's still usable. The idea, uh, you can see quite obviously from here, is to wrap butyl tape around the head of the bolt, thread it through the fitting hole and then wrap plenty more butyl tape around the base and then some way down the actual body of the bolt. The idea is, is that when you put this in place and you tighten the nut it will start to squeeze this butyl tape and fill both the hole and also that gasket that we made with the countersinker. So yeah, it's very easy to work with. You get quite a bit of wastage. So a lot of what you see here is actually the stuff that I saved after using it in this kind of situation. So it extrudes from the sides and it also tends to extrude over a period of weeks, if not months. So sometimes it's worth going back to the fitting and tightening it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, it's non-adhesive and very easy to work with and of course with a deck fitting like this it actually requires two people to put it together ideally the theory being that you shouldn't turn the bolt when you put it into the hole uh, you should only turn the nut so you need a second person with a screwdriver to hold the bolt in position whilst the person underneath tightens the nut so there it is extruded and then we do is literally just run a screwdriver around it around the edge and it just peels off like that. Very easy to work with. And the stuff that uh, comes off, providing your hands are clean, you can take off and use this again. So there's not much wastage at all. Couldn't recommend it enough. So briefly then, the advantages of using butyl tape. As you can see, it's very easy to use. Uh, it's also very cheap as well. And if you store it well, it will last for years. And apparently it is more environmentally friendly than other sealants. And just a couple of disadvantages, just worth bearing in mind. Uh, it can be quite difficult to source. So the usual chandleries often won't sell it. We found ours on eBay. In fact, we got a job lot off eBay. So you can find it, but just not in the usual outlets. It's not as adhesive as some of the more modern sealants. So don't use it if you need to actually secure something in place that's going to have a lot of force applied to it. And it continues to extrude after you've applied it. So sometimes you have to go back to the fitting just to peel it off with the screwdriver as we showed you in that clip. But all in all, I have to say using butyl tape is really easy to work with. Couldn't recommend it enough. And after four years since our refit, we haven't had one single leak. Don't forget, if you like this little clip, then please do subscribe. Don't forget to like and let us know in the comments whether you've used butyl tape or whether you like the idea of using it. In the meantime, peace and fair winds.